I'm playing with DirectX 11, and what I have here at the moment is a standard cube. The underlying geometry is uh, one, six um, squares or quads, six quads, and it can be tested um, just basically using DirectX um, 11 um, hole shaders. But you'll notice I have this very nasty seam. And um, instead of relying upon the underlying geometry and to do have texture coordinates, I've actually incorporated the spherical proje projection into the pixel shader. Um, that's very nice because I get some very um, accurate projections. However, the seam is a problem. So I switched over to a um, diagnostic texture, and you'll see how the spherical projection works quite nicely. Um, basically, it's just a standard grid. Um, a through D and basically through P. So that's what the grid looks like. And when it's overlaid onto the cube, it looks like this in a spherical projection. Very nice. Again, you'll see the underlying geometry is very simple. So I don't really care what the underlying geometry is. As long as the center of the object is at 0, 0, 0, it'll do a spherical projection. Once again, that seam is not is there. It's not as nasty because of the contrast here, but you'll notice that um, where the red and green lines match, they butt up perfectly, except for at the seam. And the seam is basically um, where z equals zero. So, you know, this is x, y, or this is x, Y is up and down, and Z is from front to back. Um, and this is where the seam is at for Z. And that's because this texture coordinate is a 0, and this texture coordinate is a 1. And because of the way the interpolation goes, it goes from 1 back to 0 instead of wrapping over. Under DirectX 9, it actually had a wrap-over command um, that you could use, and it was depreciated in DirectX 10 and higher. I don't know why, but for all I can tell, I can't find it in DirectX 10, and I've seen several posts that say it's been depreciated. But what's interesting here is this orange section. They don't butt together like on the non-seam section, and I don't know where this orange is coming from. It appears to be a blend of the red and green, um, must be some sort of um, byproduct of the instability of either the float or the precision or instability of the sine and arc cosine that are the underlying functions I use to make the spherical projection. And these are the basic functions I use for the spherical projection um, in the pixel shader. But what I do here is if the z value of the normal is less than zero, I basically reverse the U coordinates. Um, that's how I get the back side of the texture to be oriented properly. There are several examples of how this is done. However, if I don't do that, and instead I place it up here in the um, sampler state, and my code's messy, please disregard. the seam goes away. I still have the orange section though, and we'll put it back to with the earth, earth texture, and you'll see the seam is not there. And once again, I have basically just a simple cube and a very elegant spherical texture map. And as I add tessellation to it, it looks really nice. Again, the wireframe shows the tessellation. And the seam is over here off Australia, I think. And it's just not there. And I can go all the way around the world. And there are just no seams. Beautiful texture.